Hey everybody and welcome to Schoolism Interviews, mini-series, where we talk about art and life as an artist. I'm your host, Bobby Chu. Victoria Ying is an incredible artist and educator that's worked in children's books, illustration, as well as animated films such as Tangled, Paper Man, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Big Hero 6, and Moana. She's admired for her visual development art, and we are super honored to have her opening her class on February 18th, Monday. She'll begin teaching her new class, Introduction to Visual Development, on schoolism.com. And without further ado, here is my interview with the incredible, the amazing Victoria Ying. Please enjoy. So Vicky, I was talking about uh, fundamentals with a friend the other day and talking, explaining to the person that there's different types of fundamentals for different types of art that you want to do. For example, cars would have, you know, hinges, doors as like fundamentals and anatomy for characters and so on and so forth. So I want to ask you, when we're talking about visual development, Mm-hmm. You actually were able to distill the design fundamentals of visual development into shape, silhouette, proportions, and values. I was wondering if you could uh, share a little bit more about your thoughts on that. Sure. Um, yeah. So I think fundamentals are obviously like the basis of how we build art. And I think the thing that I found interesting was actually that. Um, The fundamentals that I'm teaching are actually less about specifically visual development and much more broad and encompass everything from like abstract modern art to sculpture um, to anything that really, you know, is visual and designed. Um, The things that I talk about, like they're kind of used universally. And the reason I like to talk about them is that uh, we can actually like remove what it is that we're seeing from its context and content and not instead of instead of just seeing like a figure or a face or a character we actually break it down into these much more basic ideas so then basically no matter what you look at you can judge whether or not it's been designed well or poorly based on these fundamentals um and you know i kind of think that like these fundamentals apply all over the place right so like for me the biggest one is always proportion and you can look at proportion in line, you can look at it in shape, you can look at it in design, and you can look at it in color. So like what I'm really trying to do in uh, my lesson for fundamentals is actually just teach people how to see and how to understand like what is good design and what is bad design. And because that stuff feels so um, subjective, but I'm trying to make it in some way objective while still being, you know, like not like, oh, this is like good. Like there's no necessary, it's not necessarily like, a bar for an uh, objective good, but a way to evaluate something, no matter what it is, in a, you know, in a well-designed or like a um, well-designed or poorly designed kind of aspect. I really actually love that lesson because you strip away everything and you make people work with abstract shapes. Mm-hmm. Can you kind of explain to, to us the purpose of that? Sure. Um, so for me, like when I'm thinking about design and teaching students design, the biggest thing that I notice is that they get really caught up in what the thing is and what it's supposed to look like. Like if it's a person, you know, like where the the facial features are. Um, and you know, I wanted to remove that and make it so that you actually just think about design in its purest sense. So that way, like when you do start to think about a character and like, how do I actually design a character that you actually already have this baseline fundamental understanding of what makes good shapes arranged well. And this isn't just talking about proportions, right? This is talking about uh, the fact that you can kind of look at shapes the same way, silhouettes and values the same way. Yeah. um, Again, this is kind of like my method to teach thinking. You know, it's it's more about um, how do I get you to think about not necessarily like how good a drawing is or how nice a painting is, but like how to design and design and painting and drawing, like all of them are very related, but I do think that design is something that um, most people have a hard time understanding. And if you break it down into these like very basic, um, you know, shapes, colors, lines, and values, like if you take it apart and look at each one specifically and 
really observe and take the care when you're um, doing that artwork and thinking about it. I think that that just develops you to be like a much stronger designer and somebody who actually has um, good design ideas instead of just someone who, you know, is a good painter or like is a really good, you know, draftsman or, you know, good at figure drawing. It actually can make you a designer instead of just an artist. And for all those artists out there that want to be like Victoria Ying and wants to work on all these uh, cool illustrations or perhaps wants to do like the kind of things that you were able to do in like Frozen or something like that, they might not see the correlation between abstract shapes and drawing cool princess palaces yeah. and things like that. For sure. And, you know, I, I totally can see that. And I understand that this feels unrelated because it's so like the thing you come out with at the end doesn't feel like something you can put in your portfolio. And I do think it's important to be able to exercise those things, though, in order to make that stuff, because if you don't have that baseline fundamental understanding of what makes good design, then whatever that you're going to make for, you know, your big, beautiful paintings, they're going to be built on a foundation that's weak. So if you have like a strong foundation, strong design and a really strong sense of how to arrange all your shapes, then, you know, you can actually get away with a lot in terms of how well it's rendered because the baseline is so strong. And um, yeah, and I think that, you know, whenever you're designing stuff for films, um, you know, you can obviously paint it and make it look really cool. But if you don't have like that design idea at the beginning, at the seed of it, then it's just not going to be a strong, uh, strong design. I kind of equate it to, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I kind of equate it to uh, this very first lesson is kind of like learning how to build a really nice cake without mm -hmm. the the dressing on it just right, yet. Exactly. Right? It's like like if you watch a Great British Bake Off, it's it's like how do you make like a really good sponge cake, right? Like it's like the base of everything, and it has to be like cooked well, and there's like a lot of complexity in it, but. You know, it, it's not with the dressing. It's just the just the basic, you know, boring sponge cake. But like, this is kind of how to do that. That's what holds up everything else. Yeah, exactly. If you're interested in visual development, get your clicking fingers ready. Victoria Ying's class opens on Schoolism.com starting Monday, February 18th, 2019.